What's up guys, Serge here. So after the less than stellar sales of the Galaxy S9 series, it seems that Samsung is trying to make up for it by releasing the Note 9 earlier than its predecessor. Yeah, it's here. The first early Galaxy Note 9 release report and whenever a new Samsung flagship is in the pipeline, we tend to hear reports that Samsung is going to release the handset earlier than its predecessor. There were similar reports for the Galaxy S9 which turned out to be true as the Galaxy S9 was announced on February 25th and released on March 16th whereas as for the S8 it was announced on March 29th and released on April 25th. So there's a hoping one month difference between both the flagships release period. Now that's not shocking as Samsung also wants to outshine the upcoming iPhones and to gain its throne again in the smartphones market. In addition to this report, we have also got the Geekbench score of Note 9, specifically it's the North American variant rocking the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 SoC, unsurprisingly just like the US-bound S9 Duo. The Note 9 also features 6 gigs of RAM like its predecessor, interestingly the prototype that ran Geekbench had Android 8.1 Oreo on board. That's of note because the S9 and S9 Plus launched with Android 8.0 and the updates that Samsung is currently rolling out to the Note 8 and S8 are also based on the iteration of Google's operating system. So the Note 9 may be in fact be the first Samsung device to ship with Android 8.1 at least. That's how the company played last year when the S8 was launched on Android 7.0 while the Note 8 got 7.1.1 from day 1. Now the Geekbench scores are slightly disturbed because we expect greater results from the Snapdragon 845 but as it's only a prototype so there will be some changes in the original score. Samsung will have to improve a lot with the Galaxy Note 9 as the users are not excited about the S9 series because of the same design and after the launch of Huawei P20 series we expect much more from the upcoming Note 9 as Huawei has defeated the S9 in terms of camera performance and the Mate 11 which will gonna compete with Note 9 will have a Kirin 980 processor with several upgrades. So for Samsung, they must ship an in-screen fingerprint scanner bundled with high battery capacity, Bixby improvements, a reimagined S Pen and most importantly a major design change on the Note 9. So that said, tell me your thoughts about this in the comments down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.